All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Princess Connect Redive video. Now today, I'm going to be talking about if you should be summoning or skipping the brand new up and coming character, Christina. Now, I usually like to do these videos about a day or so before the character releases, or I'll do it like minute, maybe the hour that they do end up releasing. Uh, for Christina, I'm going to do it a day before, uh, as we are currently closing in on almost 29 hours until we see the release of Christina. Of course, she will be releasing here on October 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern time zone for me. So for people on the West Coast, uh, that'll be, I think, 4 p.m. Uh, people in Central, I think 5 and 6 p.m. for you guys. Uh, so just be on the lookout for that. 7 p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone is when Christina will be dropping. I will be doing a giant live stream uh, when that comes out. 30,000 plus jewels. We're going to be going in, spending almost every single jewel. Um, obviously, the goal here is we want to get Christina, but I also need to get enough Divine Amulet in order for me to actually get her up to five stars. I think, what is it, 1.1 thousand or something like that that you need exactly? Um, and I only have like about 400 at the moment. So I'm going to be needing to get a lot of Divine Amulet. Hopefully, I don't get her too early uh, so that I'm not kind of just summoning and wasting my, my summons trying to get her uh for divine ailments right obviously we have the double three star draw rates and all that stuff which i'll talk about if you should be summoning or not later but she would be dropping here in about 29 hours from now i'm um, also this is going to the pre-cone en event timer um, i will leave a link to this down in the description down below because it's a lot of stuff that you could check on here i always check this whenever banners come around and all that stuff we also have the twilight breakers event which will be starting here in about four days from now uh, so when this comes out, when Christina drops, in about three days is when Twilight Breakers will come out. And then that's also when Ruka will be dropping, which we'll be talking about here in a second. So obviously we have the Christina banner, which will be going for three days from the 25th until the 28th of October. Uh, so this will be ending a few days before Halloween. And then Ruka will be dropping on the 28th and going until the 11th of November. Uh, so pretty much, I'm going to be talking about if you should be summoning or skipping, and this is going to be my first point for summoning. So the reason why you should be summoning on this Christina banner is because the next few banners are going to be absolutely skippable until maybe Christmas Chica if you're a clan battle player, uh, but you could skip her until next year if you want to. She's not a must need, but she's really good for clan battle. Uh, Christmas INA, you just, you pretty much are going to get her for free, almost guaranteed. Uh, and if you don't get her for free, then I, she's not really that important. You don't really need her. She doesn't really excel in any locations. Uh, so she's pretty skippable. And then you have the New Year's Zui slash Christina Limited second free press. Now, this is where I see a lot of people saying, well, I'm going to be skipping the first banner. Uh, and that is because I want to come back on the second banner and summon whenever I have double the chances of getting Christina as well as New Year's Yui. Um, now, there's big points I've seen for both sides of why you shouldn't do this and versus why you should do this. So, for why you should do this, I think the first point is the fact that you could skip out on this banner, save up a lot of jewels, okay, and then come into the second banner, pull the New Year's Yui, and then ha maybe have to pity the other character. Or you pull Christina, you have to pity New Year's Yui, or you could pull both of them without having to pity any of them and save a lot more jewels rather than summoning on, on Christina and then summoning on to the New Year's Eve on top of that. But I've seen a lot of horror stories and I've heard of horror stories of people actually having to double pity or one pity someone else and then takes like 35,000 jewels to get the other character. Um, which at that point, you basically just wasted your time because we won't be seeing this New Year's Eve banner. So we will be seeing this banner drop sometime around Christmas. I mean, we are currently eight days behind schedule. So this banner theoretically should be dropping here sometime around the 23rd. Uh, so maybe Christmas Eve morning, they'll have the New Year's Eve banner coming out alongside Christina. And maybe it'll go away on the 26th and then this will be going. Uh, New Year's Eve will be going all the way through until the start of January. So basically if you do that and end up getting super unlucky, which can happen, you will have to wait an entire one month and two whole months, which is basically two whole clan battles, until you'll be able to use Christina, which I find to be very, very unfortunate. That's basically the equivalent of not having Summer Carol for two months. Uh, Christina is broken. I mean, she's easily the best character in the entire game when she first comes out. Uh, when she when she drops, I think I feel like she's gonna be the best character in the entire game. I think she's better than New Year's Eve, but not by much. New Year's Eve is insane. Then we have the other crazy characters like Valentine, Jazuru, and Mimi, which we'll be talking about here in a second. Uh, so going back up to this New Year's Eve slash Chris, uh, Christina banner, you could summon on this, 
you could theoretically skip the first Christina banner. I don't personally recommend it because you're going to be missing out on a lot of damage in clan battle, especially if you are a top 10, maybe top 100, maybe even top 250 clan battle like team. You're probably going to want to have Christina on your team before she actually comes back. But if you can deal with using support characters, then I guess you could skip out on her. But keep in mind that if you do get super unlucky, you really could get screwed on this banner. And it could cost you upwards of 90,000 jewels for you to pity both of these characters. And which would suck because literally not even a month later, you have a must summon client battle character with Valentine Shizuru. And then you have another must summon character with Mimi right there. So there's a lot of you know different stuff going on but hopefully if you do skip out on christina then you bought by all means hopefully i wish you luck on the new year's eve christina banner uh because you're probably going to need it so for must summons i definitely would say christina this banner is almost guaranteed the chances of you pulling christina as a three star character is extremely high her being a featured character plus the two times draw rate will make this a great b banner for beginner players players that are obviously haven't hit the max level cap yet if you're still like stuck on level 70 level 60 level 80 if you have not beat the ex dungeon yet if you haven't beat all the story mode yet christina will carry you through all of it she is that good guaranteed crits and vulnerability crazy tp retaining she is this broken i promise you you do not want to skip out on this character skipping her the only reason I can see you wanting to skip her is if you want to save for the New Year's Eve slash Christina ban in which he does make her rerun in about two months later down the line. Other than that, I see really no reason to skip her. If you, once again, this is a very good banner for free to play players as well as new players. If you do not have all the three star characters, you have double draw rates on the three stars. So three star uh, characters have double the times of you pulling them. If we remember that from the Summer Tomic banner, people were pulling characters left right front and center you were seeing tons of three star multis with when you had like four or five three star characters in a single multi summon it was getting out of hand people pulling summer tamaki for his multi summon and all that stuff so it was really ridiculous and it's making a comeback of course for the princess gala christina now christina she is going to be such a game breaking character uh she's not really gonna be seeing any like kind of replacement really uh, until later down in the years when we start getting other broken characters like Summer Saren. This is where I think she becomes probably the best character in the entire game is Summer Saren will replace Christina. Uh, she, until Summer Saren comes out, which is literally about, it's almost about eight months from now until we'll see the god Summer Saren coming around. And when she comes around, she's like, this is a must summon character. She's literally broken in every single like game mode that's ever existed. So... Until then, I feel like Christina is also just a must summon. She's just so broken. Uh, you must get this character. If you want to skip her, fine. Go ahead and skip her and summon her when she comes back on the New Year's Eve banner. We also have the free 10 rolls per day. So you will probably get, what, 30 or 40 rolls on the banner uh, before the banner does end up going away, which will be pretty nice. Uh, so you'll get some extra summons on top of that banner, which will help you in case you need to get some pity. Um, other than that, I mean, until New Year's Eve comes around, there's really no other character that you have to summon on. I mean, you could skip Christmas Chica if you want to because she comes back around next year. Uh, she is really good, of course, in clan battle, but she's not like a must have, but she's like a decently great option. Uh, and she becomes way better as time goes on. So you want to either get her now or you could wait until next year. Uh, so pretty much you could summon on this Christina banner. And if you pull Christina, you really could just skip everything until the New Year's Eve banner comes back around uh, with the Christina limited second prefest stuff on it. And then basically from there, it's Valentine Chizuru, then Mimi, and then you're saving. Maybe you want to summon. I don't know if they're going to do On and Gray. On and Gray, I think Gray is really good. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do that. And then you pretty much can skip here all the way down. Uh, you have Rem, Amelia, uh, who are pretty solid. And then you have the Summer Saren, who is a must summon. And then pretty much from there, it's all the way down. Uh, I don't want to go any further than that because then this is where it becomes like every character is a must summon. You have Nenica here. So yeah, other than that, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Uh, once again, I will be live streaming when Christina comes out tomorrow around 7 p.m. I'll probably go live about 10 minutes before or maybe 30 minutes before. I'll probably go somewhere around 6.30 p.m. Uh, to 7 p.m. I will go live tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I hope to see you guys all then. It'll be very, very hype. I expect to see a very big turnout. Maybe we'll break the record for the biggest amount of viewers I have at one time during a stream. We'll see. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys all had wonderful luck on Christina. And I also hope you guys finish super well in Clan Battle because Clan Battle will be ending today. So finish strong, place as high as you can, and get those jewels, baby. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.